I'm pretty sure the hospital is going bankrupt from all the masks they have to wear for all those bitches' faces. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today we're going to try a little makeup look. And I'm going to draw another pattern in my face like I did with the last look. And this is just kind of... Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down here. it like that. Now I'm going to go just on the outside of that line with concealer. This concealer smells like banana or maybe it's just me. Just going to go through here and just kind of blend it outwards a little bit. <coughs> so I went to the hematologist today. I'm sick of doctors. I've been to all kinds of them. None of them can really find anything wrong with me today. Or any day. And I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what the issue is. Why it's so hard to find the problem. I mean, I'm in pain everywhere. I am anemic, so they are going to try to deal with that, but that probably won't take care of the pain. But oh well. Oh well. So now we're going to do my foundation. And I'm just going to kind of... Oh, I got some in my hair. I always do. Um, I'm to wear it takes everything in me to do a makeup video. I've been doing really simple ones just until I can fight this nonsense off, whatever it is. Um, maybe an iron infusion will fix me. We will see. Just gonna kind of powder this part of my face. I'm gonna be talking about true crime more on my channel. I know I've done it a couple times, but I need more practice and there are a couple local stories I wanna talk about. One that happened to a childhood friend and it's just around the corner well not around the corner but it's in a little town where I grew up so I'll go down there and get even get some like b-roll or something you know Gonna be a little challenging. I'm gonna get a little cheap brush out to use because it's not real user friendly with just the fingers when I'm trying to just keep it in a little area. 
This reminds me of when I was a kid, my mom at Halloween time would get me a little Avon makeup kit that would have like some kind of cream colors or cream pencils or something in it. And this, this smell reminds me of that. And this is Ben Nye, by the way. It's a little tiny thing of it, but a little bit of that goes a long, long way. Hopefully this will work. something a little more precise. Because that, that brush was, it's nice and skinny, but it's a little too long to you know, do what I need to do. And if you haven't yet, check out my husband's channel, Eric's Guitar Corner. He puts up a lot of music and He's gonna have the view time, but he needs to get up to a thousand subscribers. So if you can check him out, that would be awesome. If you like acoustic music, I think you'll enjoy his channel. He does a little bit of everything. He's done some Sia, Bob Dylan, Grateful Dead. I mean, just everything. I mean, he puts his own little spin on it. I'm just uh, kind of tapping baby powder on there just to kind of set it a little bit it would be great if I had a black contact very bad with contacts okay now we're just going to um, let that sit a second I actually probably I don't even really need to do that I don't know why I said that okay so now we want to use black to work around you know to outline this. Have y'all seen this show called Louder Milk? It's on Amazon. It's really good. I love it. It's funny. Brian Regan is in it. He's not the the lead. Um, Ron Livingston is the lead. The guy from Office Space, if you don't know him. Burger from Sex in the City. You know, the I'm sorry I can't post it breakup guy. He's in it, and he's really great in it. He's also in one of my favorite anthology horror films called Campfire Tales. And there's a couple different anthology horror movies called Campfire Tales. So, you know, the one with him in it. <laughs> and James Marsden is also in that one. And also the guy that played Mark on Roseanne, I believe that actor has died. He's in it too. Oh, so let me tell you about this time. I hate liars and I can read through a liar in a heartbeat. And so I had this coworker who she was an infamous liar. She would especially lie about men that she was sleeping with. In other words, not sleeping with. I'm like, God, you are worse than a guy with that. But um, there's this man I used to work with that we're, we're still in touch. We're still very friendly. He's a really, he's a really nice guy, like super nice. And one day, I don't remember what got the conversation started. He was um. He decided to go, 
he, he was recently divorced, decided to go to Disney World for a few days. So he, he took a few days off and he was like a higher up in the company, like a manager. And he, um, he told me about it, right? So I didn't say anything to anybody because I didn't, it's not my place to tell his, you know, share his information. So all week long or all like for a couple weeks, the, my coworker was like, yeah, he's having a big party at his house. Um, but he's like, he's made me plan it. So like, why would he have you plan it? Like they live nowhere near each other and they don't really talk outside of work. And I know this because me and him were friends. <laughs> and um, I'm like, what? He didn't say anything to me. Well, you know, he didn't really want to tell anyone until, you know, last minute. So she, and she was like, it's this weekend. And I'm like, it's this weekend? And she goes, yeah. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And I walked away and I texted him and I said, hey, do you know anything about a party at your house this weekend? And he's like, uh, no, I don't do that. So he said, why? I'm like, I just, maybe I misunderstood what was said. Never mind. You know, it was something along those lines because I didn't want to, then I was like, well, maybe I did misunderstand her. And Then I went over to her work area and I didn't bring it up, but she was like, oh, God, I just don't know if I can make his party. You know, I did all this planning and everything. And what is she talking about? I mean, I knew she was a liar and I knew she was just trying to get attention or whatever. So, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna bite. I'm like, you know, he's not even in town this weekend. And she was like, oh, I know. Like, well, how's he having a party at his house this weekend if he's not in town? Well, I just found out he's not in town and I'm really pissed off and no more pussy for him. And I'm like, oh, okay. So <laughs> anyway, that was kind of it. I was like, um, okay. So, He hasn't worked there in a while and neither have I and I asked him the other day I said hey remember so and so and he's like oh yeah I remember her and I'm like were you and her ever dating and he's like oh god no give me some credit <laughs> you know she's not uh she's an unpleasant person and I'm not talking about looks she's just not not a fun person but nobody in the office I worked in was. They were just awful people. And I'm sure they still are. Except for my boss that I had in there before I left. Everyone else was awful. Just liars and backstabbers. And I'm pretty sure the hospital is probably going, it was a hospital. I'm pretty sure the hospital is going bankrupt from all the masks they have to wear for all those bitches' faces. But anyway, he, um, <laughs> He's like, why? And then I told him the story. He's like, that is really weird. I'm like, well, I know, that's weird. But he said, yeah, that was, that's not a thing. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, well. She did that, she did that to some doctors too that worked there like a, um, like she would take someone's very serious situation and make it about her in some way. Like I had had a miscarriage and I was in the ER and one of these, the doctors that knew me saw me in there. So he came to talk to me and stuff. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And blah, blah, blah. he was being real sweet, you know? And then uh, I was telling this girl at work about it, how, how nice I thought that was. And she goes, yeah, I, I told him to go down there and look for you. I'm like, hmm. Well, he was completely surprised to see me. Just weird, like, um, well, don't tell people my business, first of all, which she didn't. She just wanted credit for that. And she was like, yeah, he's a really good guy, you know, and I know that, but she was just acting like, you know, they had some kind of relationship. And um, one time he wanted to take 
several of us out to dinner to kind of thank us. And she was like, we don't really talk about our relationship, so nobody knows about us, so try not to bring it up during dinner. <laughs> like, oh, in other words, you're a liar, because she would always tell everyone she was sleeping with him, even though he's been happily married for five million years. But anyway, it was that she always wanted people to think that she was highly desired. She made Eric very uncomfortable. Like, the way she, like, she had very weird mannerisms around men. Mannerisms around men folk. It was odd. And I tried not to judge because, you know, something could have happened in her life to make her like that. Well, I mean, absolutely something happened. But, I don't... But at the same time, you can't just lie about people, especially damning lies like that, that you think are cute and innocent, but they can ruin someone's life. All right, so now I'm just gonna do like, kind of a regular makeup look, maybe. Just this eye and half of my lip. I already have some eye makeup on, I didn't wash it away. Because sometimes that kind of lends, it, lends itself to a look I'm trying. Now I've got this wonderful black all over makeup or powder and I'm just going to put it in these couple of kind of bigger spots That's kind of freaky. When I do that, you just see that part. <gasps> Ooh, kind of cool though. Okay. I don't think I like that lighting with it so much as that one. Okay. So that's it. I just wanted to do something kind of easy tonight but um I hope you enjoyed your time with me and I will talk to everyone later thanks so much for watching bye I would like to repeat this eye look on both eyes maybe I'll try that tomorrow if I do so maybe I'll make a video of me doing it because I didn't it really kind of turned out I like it I like how it turned out so all right, well, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.